Say, my friend, I want to share with you some good Christmas gifts. We still have the positive daily inspiration tear-off calendar. Look at the size of that that goes on your desk. It will also hang on the wall. And every day, it's, you tear it off, and there's good non-denominational inspiration. Also, my book, Positive Living, available, and it's uh, been redone. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful high-gloss cover now, and uh, it's a great gift in the same way. It's pretty much like the uh, tear-off calendar. You can turn it anywhere in the book and get immediate inspiration. I want to talk about God giving you second chances, but also you have to give yourself second chances. You were born with a plan B. When it's time for a different plan, be ready. Be willing to go in a different direction. In Second Chronicles, it says this, 15 verse 7, Be strong, don't be discouraged, for your work has a reward. Some of the most important dreams are ones that we abandon, we give up on. Some of our most important goals are the ones we don't obtain. Sometimes our most important journeys are the ones uh, that we take to the winding conclusion of what seems to be a dead end. Thankfully, with God, there are no dead ends. There are only opportunities to learn, to grow, to yield, to trust, to serve, and to, to go on to plan B. The next time you experience one of life's disappointments, don't despair, don't be afraid. Look at it as an exciting opportunity to try plan B. Consider every setback as an opportunity. You know, I've had many of them, uh, many setbacks, but looking back on my life now, I say, thank God that it didn't work out the way that I had planned. You know, I had planned originally for Positive Daily Inspiration to be uh, a newspaper article. And uh, we were going to put it in syndication across the country. Most of those newspapers that I was going to work with have failed. Consider every setback an opportunity to choose a different path. That's the way to approach life. God always will direct you in wiser ways, even though you can't understand it at the moment or think that it's unobtainable, so you don't even think about it. Have faith that God will indeed be leading you in an entirely new direction, a direction of God's choosing. And as you take your next step, remember what looks like a dead end to you may be, in fact, the fast lane. That's what I found in my life. There are no dead ends in God. There are only slight corrections in direction. And then often you're on the fast lane to success. Goals are worth setting. And also in human mind, they're worth missing. If we can realize that with God, we're always going to have the ultimate success. I pray for you that you're open to a plan B. I pray that you're open to all the new ideas that God will give you, the new directions, the new ways, and uh, be always listening for that still small voice of guidance that will reassure you, pick you up when you've fallen, and get you again standing, walking, running on your correct new path.